Hello again, this is Mark from MWB Arts, and today I am doing a pour, and this time it is a collaboration with other people that are also doing it. There's about 12 total, I believe, maybe more, and it is a balloon technique collaboration, and I'm encouraging you to make sure and check out that description box down below for all the others involved and click on theirs after you watch this one and give them the love and support they deserve too. We are all part of the CAC group and this collaboration is involved with you know them too because uh, we're all members of that and you know you can check out uh, I will leave a link to the CAC also creative arts collaboration group on Facebook so you can go out there if you are a YouTube creator too and interested in joining you can click there and then fill out the application and read the rules and description of what it's all about and if you want to join too there's so much support that goes on there so right now what I've done so far is I've put on the background with my hands and it has the two different blues, an island blue and indigo blue, and also some white, and those are Americana paints, Deco Art paints, and Martha Stewart. And they're all mixed with about a 6 to 1, 7 to 1 ratio, or maybe even 5 to 1 ratio with a uh, liquid protective pouring medium. And then I'm making some leaves here, and they are with the Deco Art and Martha Stewart also paints and they are best of green and some I think it is called green curry that's what it was green curry and mix those all together using sticks to shape the leaves and then I put some vines in later on also and part of those vines I actually use a, a pipette to do some curly cues with that but right now I'm doing some stick formation and uh, then shortly after that I will be getting into the main subject which will be the balloons and they were made with some purples and some whites to make those balloon grapes and the grapes were made with perfect purple from folk art and diazine purple from Americana uh, deco art and those also mixed with the Liquitex Prime Medium. And like I said before, make sure and check out all the others that are involved in this. And uh, and after you're done, also to find out if anybody else joined in that didn't quite make the playlist at the in my description, you can type in the hashtag balloon collab, and that will be in the description also. And then you can find other artists that are involved in this and uh, event. So right now, I'm taking a balloon and I'm dipping it into the, the different colors of purple I have there and white and have that sitting over on another piece of paper, just kind of dipping it in and, you know, corners, three corners, and then twisting as I set down the balloon onto there. And the canvas I'm using today was a, oh, I want to say it was like a 24 by 6 piece of wood that's kind of shaped like, oh, I don't know, as a, a rectangle, but, you know, the angle down and double at the bottom in the shape of a, oh, hard to describe it, like a, some decorative wood, I guess. <laughs> and I'm almost done here, so make sure and check out everybody else's that are involved in this collab. It was so much fun to do, and everybody else spent so much time too on theirs. And yeah, so just make sure and check all those out. And right now, I think I'm deciding what I'm going to do with the... Ah, I got another balloon, fresh balloon out. And, and figuring out how I'm going to do the smaller parts of the grapes at the bottom. 
and maybe get some more highlights in there too by adding a little more white to the onto the balloons because it you know it was, it was pretty solid purple there and so I had to get a little more white in there to get some contrast in between the dark and the light and then twisting that white in there mixing it with the purple and then I'll finish up the grapes and then the vines and then now we'll be getting my pipette out after I'm done with the grapes here and put on the fine wispy uh, wispy uh, little vines at the bottom anyway so make sure and like subscribe comment if you'd like to see more and I think I'll be doing some different type of paintings in the near future and um, I'm exploring with other mediums too right now I'm kind of curious with the Chinese calligraphy and Chinese uh, paint painting with the inks on a very thin paper and trying to get better at that and maybe I'll share some stuff that I learned later on with you and and probably be speed videos too and this is fed up about three and a half to oh anywhere from three and a half in certain sections up to four and a half and others just because it's so long and and was learning how what I was going to be doing when I was doing this. So yes, this is what the grapes look like. And now I'm getting out the light green color here again. And my pipette. And then I'm going to put some wispy vines on. You'll see that go down in just a second here. You see how thin I can get it with a pipette. And I can just kind of, you know, suck up a little bit of that green in there and, and just just kind of squeeze it out. And in the curly cues of sight. And then I, at the end here, I'm going to show you, oh, about five or six pictures, different views of maybe just the first the background, what it looked like. And then, uh, then the last one I'll show you is when after it's all dry. So make sure and check out everybody else's. Give them the love they deserve too and, and watch their paintings and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to their channels and just enjoy this balloon collab. And wow, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised how it turned out. And, and uh, yeah, anyway, have fun. Do something creative. Put some color in your life and go out there and just enjoy. Thanks again watching and talk to you again later in another video. Bye.